Hi, it's the Fix-It Lady here. Hello to all my Fix-It folks. And if you're new, welcome in. Join me. We are going to be making, well, I am going to be making, but I am going to be showing you how to make a cigar box purse. One thing, I, this was a total fail. I started making the video for the cigar box purse. And for some reason, my camera stopped recording and then something went wrong downloading and the whole video is gone. So when I was doing the video, this is what I got done so far. So I'm going to show you this, plus I'm going to make another one to show you how I did it. But this is the one that I started. The video is gone. So pardon me. I put all of this on the front. This was my inspiration, the Audrey Hepburn and this stamp. And this is the first day of issue. Um, Los Angeles, California, June 11, 2003. Her, her stamp was issued. So that kind of went with the whole theme. And I just like the stamp look because it looks kind of vintagey. And I just went around and I used this not, I used just a regular school glue, um, a glue stick because I don't, do not use, well, you can do whatever you want, but I don't recommend using a hot glue because you might get a bump. You want this flat, nice, whoa, something's attacking me. You want this flat surface. And then I did the back with just a piece of, um, of the paper you would use for scrapbooking. Can't remember what that's called. And then the elbow stamp, stamps. And then this is just a little tidbit about Audrey Hepburn. And I thought it would be pretty to put in there. It's just kind of like um, something special because my daughter loves Aubrey, Audrey Hepburn. I don't know why I keep wanting to call her Aubrey. But then um, you put the corners on and then the bottom. And then on the inside, I put the latch on. And then on the inside, I have, I made, I did this one out of fabric. And what I did is I used a file folder. I measured out the bottom first, then each side, cut the, um, file folder, and then measured the material, turned it upside down, you know, hot glued it, kind of like you're wrapping a present, and then glue it in, you know, face side up. So she likes owls, and she likes this Tiffany green color. So that I did all off video. Well, it was on video, supposedly, <laughs> but I don't know where it, the camera stopped. So, and I was just keep going, yep, yep, yep. So anyway, that's what I got done on this one, and I'm really happy with it. I love it, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, start this one to kind of show you what I did, and then we'll go from there on that one. So I'm going to set that one aside. Um, I love cigar purses. I think they're unique. I don't know if you can see this one, but I have this Yorkie one I got for Christmas from Mr. Fix-It. And then I have a one over here, excuse me, Rocco, that was gifted to me. Um, on Cajun Roots Reseller LLC, um, I bid on this, and Tony was uh, so kind and gifted this to me, and I just, ha I loved it. I watched his video um, on his storage shed, and I seen it, and I was like, oh my goodness, I love it. It's just unique, and I mean, it's not to say that you have to go carrying around all this stuff, but if you just want to use it once when you're going out on a little date or just going out with the girls or whatever you want to do, um, it's a cute conversation piece. And, you know, it still looks like the cigar box and you want to keep that authenticity of it, but then decorate it as a cute little purse. So let's get started. I'm sorry, baby. You guys okay? Let's go over a little bit. Okay. So this is the inspiration piece I'm going to use for the middle of this cigar box. And then I'm going to put some stampins because you want to use something flat. I found these and I thought, oh, they're so pretty, but they're, I'm going to put um, contact paper over it so it would bubble and it wouldn't look right. So I'll keep that for something else though. You know me, I'll figure out something. So anyway, this is the uh, little piece that I'm going to be using to start. And these are all, I pre-cut everything so that you didn't have to watch me cut things, but I'll explain how I did it. So anyway, I'm going to put this on here because I thought this is going to be a cute. Oh, sure. Remember, you got to turn it upside down because your purse go, opens like this. So you actually, in sense, have to do this upside down. But it's not when you make it a purse. 
So I'm going to use just the Melmer's glue. Don't use the um, hot glue because it. I'm going to use contact paper to seal it. So you know, in case it would ever get wet or something, um, it will save it. A, you know, hopefully. So I'm going to put that in there. Hi, Miss Bell. And this is Bella and Rocco. If you're new, Bella is five years old, and she weighs three pounds. And Rocco is seven years old. And he weighs five, four, four pounds. Blah. He weighs four pounds. So just get that glue on there. That's probably going to pop up. That's a, that's okay because it's going to contact paper is going to take care of that. Okay. So I'm going to use some stamps. I just think it's a cool look. Um, just some random ones, not anything. There's no theme in this, really. See, it's popping up. It's okay, though. It'll be fine. This is a Chinese New Year, I believe, stamp. And then just start putting, I'm going to put the stamps over. And you can use anything. You can. Uh, not get glue on your finger. Okay, let's see. You can use material, and I'll show you how I put, I'm going to put material on the back of this one, and I'll show you how we do that. So you can use whatever you want. You can material, you can put, uh, you know, a crochet item. I'm going to leave the gold because I think it's cool. It just gives it a little something something you know you know I don't want to cover it to where you can't tell it was a cigar box I want it to look like a cigar box okay so here's a pretty one uh, can't really see it because I'm blind uh, I can't see it but it's cool looking one over here kind of like that color in the back of it a little bit but it doesn't have to be like perfect or anything you could like go like this and you could do like you do in your junk journals you could just do whatever you want to do little horsey ones this says USA it doesn't say what they are but I think they're cool And instead of the material in the inside of it, I'm going to go ahead and use felt. And I got the felt at a dollar store. Now, it's not Dollar Tree, but it um, the felt was a pretty big pack for like four bucks. So it wasn't bad. But this is not like a Dollar Tree DIY. It's just a DIY. Um, I kind of cut the cost with the velvet, you know, instead of the material. But... And, you know, I bought the little bit more fancier purses. But if this is something that, you know, I bought the box super cheap at an antique store. And it just has character. I like it, you know. And it, like I said, it, it might not be something you're into. But it um, it's definitely a conversation piece. So. National Postal Museum. Every stamp I put on makes it worth more money, right? <laughs> but you could give it to, as a gift or you can sell them. And it's super easy to make. And if you don't want to, you know, do stamps, or that's not your thing, and just do whatever you want. And I use the the Elmer's too so you can kind of position they'll slide for a little bit 
And this one is, oh, that's the National Post. That's pretty cool, though. Let's see. Yeah, maybe I'll put... this one. Freedom. That's pretty. Yeah, I can put that one in there. That one's pretty. I like that one. Now this bottom gold is just a little bit wider, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm going to... I wanted to put the Norman, Rock, Norman Rockwell. The Norman Rockwell is cool. I like that one. The Norman Rockwell. And make sure you got your glue gun ready because I'll be using it. So you kind of want to make sure that's turned on. Glue all over myself here. So a Norman Rockwell. And let's see. I need some things that go up and down. These go up and down. Oh, the astronaut ones are cool. Come on. You know how they're doing well. Well, I don't eat your foot, baby. This one says United Nations. Cool. I just think it looks cool. You know how people have the luggage and you travel everywhere and get those, like, not a passport stamp, but you know what I mean? Like, they put pictures all over, like they've been here and there, and like it looks cool. This is kind of reminding me of that. I need a stamp passport there. And then I think I'll put one like that. Little. Da -da 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 -da. Let's choose one of these. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Well, they're cute. I just don't really know who they are. Common Strict Plastics. Gasoline Alley. Let's do Bring Up Father. I don't know what that is, but it's cute.
looks pretty cute. So then, throw this. Okay, so that's all I want with it. And then we have the contact paper. I pre-measured it. Doesn't have to be perfect, but it's clear. That's the best I could iron it. Bella. Hi, baby. You say hello to everyone? Say hello. And it's going to take me forever to get off the contact paper here. I always kind of make it difficult, you know. Because we did so much work last time and poof, nothing. I thought I was going to cry, but I didn't. I thought I was going to. But I brushed myself off, got back up. And let's do it again. Just that. Kind of, oh, there it is. Okay. That's hard. If you use contact paper, it is hard to try get that little thing open. Okay. So now I'm going to just try to get this part lined up as best as I can. Don't go over that little thing or it won't open. And then I'm going to keep going like this. Push forward to try to get all those air bubbles out. credit card will work. <clears throat> Get the air bubbles out. There. So there we go. That's the front of the box. Let's get in for a moment. Okay, now I'm going to make the back of the box. And this, I just cut the measure and I'm because I'm just going to use a, a little funky pattern. And this was like a yard um, from Walmart, but I've had it for a while. So it was only like $2. Now I think they've gone up for those little tiny things on the end cap. But I've had it. I just, I actually made my kids' dogs scarves. So then I'm just going to glue this on just so it stays. I don't use hot glue because you'll get a bubble. Or a lump. We're trying to avoid the lump. <laughs> Don't want the lump. Because then it will have like a little bump and it'll look weird. That's going to make a bump. Okay. So whatever doesn't really matter what the way you want it. It's whatever. Whatever works for you. And then just put that on. Like I said, I want kind of the authentic, it's not the greatest cigar box you've ever seen, but um, it's okay. Like I said, I was doing, I had already been doing one and had a problem with my camera. So, okay, so then. More contact paper so that it seals that. I don't know why I do this way, but this is the way I do it. Whatever way you're comfortable with. Try to eye it up. You're not gonna be able to see it, so it's not. Just get over that little bit of material, and I flip it around, and I start peeling. Okay. Okay. So 
So I didn't go far enough over. Let me try this again. I'm going to cut it. For me, this is caddy lapis, but that's okay. Okay. Oops. You kind of went really weird on me. So then the back's done and the front's done. So let's go ahead and do the inside. And I told you that I pre-cut. I, I just decided to do felt because it'd be quicker um, than trying to recut all that fabric. And because I had done so much on this one. So yeah. Oh, what I learned last time is you put the sides in first. So if you put this inside, then it gets weird. So it you put the sides in first, which I foo barred that the first time and I almost did it again. But yeah, that worked better just in case your fabric is a little thicker. Um, it works out better. And especially if you use the file folder with material, it's just a little thicker. And that caused me a problem with closing the lid and getting it to measure up. Okay, so I just want to line the inside. I'm going to keep this part because I think it's authentic and I like it. Okay, so let's put this side in here. And all I did was measure, you know, take your handy dandy ruler and, oops, measure. All right, big silly. So you measure from here to here and then here to here. And then you cut your felt. To match and just little squares and it's no big deal like i said the um it's going to be a little more difficult to do the material because you have to find um something that's uh not as thick so i just decided to use a file folder cut it up and um boom it was it worked perfect And just make sure the corners are down and just wanted to get it in there before I burn myself. But that way you can line the purse. I don't give it a cue. And you can put you can put little pockets in there. You can sew a pocket in there, but I'm not gonna get that detailed with this one because I was working so hard on the other one that I just wanted you to see the process. Just kind of use your nail or you can use a flat blade screwdriver to pack that down. I'm just using my nail. So yeah, it's no big deal. Let's put that in there. Then the sides. Okay, then I'm gonna put the other corner in. You can go back and kind of put a little hot glue in there and stick that. Try to put it in the corners. And a little on the top there. Whoops.
Use your nail to push it in the corner. Get a little. How you doing? Okay. I don't for myself. Okay. Okay, so now we got that done, the sides, and then we're going to put this in. Hopefully not all the glitter, but... Just gonna, oops, a little super glue too. All right. All right. So now we have a lining. Pull that up a little bit. And then Glue guns. I'm too fast for my glue gun, I think. There we go. Now we have the inside. Okay, so now we have the inside. Then I'm going to put the, oops, probably not burn something over here. All right, so we're going to put the latch on. I can find the latch. But wouldn't these be fun to sell? Just go and find a antique place that you know has a ton of them, and offer them the price. Who knows? I don't know. And oops, put that that way. Here we go. But like I already did this one, so we're almost to the point of where my camera. Sorry, strawberry shortcake, she fell over. Okay, is that one? Oh, pardon me, that little screwdriver. Rocco doesn't like to drill. So, I will not be drilling because I he will he gets upset. He just I don't know why. He's not never even I guess it scares him because he's you know he's never done anything, so I don't know. For some reason that little piece of glue is not letting that close properly. So I'll just pick that off. Okay. 
Okay, maybe I'll cut it off. <laughs> there we go. All right, so. Now we get to do the screwing of the I got glue hanging off my finger. Okay, so I'm going to put it in the middle of the Eiffel Tower here. Which is a bummer, but that's the way it's got to be. Line it up as best you can. Let's see, I'm going to go with the right there in the middle of that little minus dash. Hopefully this is soft enough to catch my other one. Oh yeah, this one's doing much better. The other one was just like, oh my goodness. Okay. I'm going with that ball now. And they're small enough that they're not coming through the back, so, or the inside, I'm sorry. Okay, we got that part done. And I'm going to put this part on. So I'll line it up in the middle and push it down. Maybe it goes this way. Looks better. I can turn it that way. Okay. I'm just going to leave it on there and do the bottom one first. Or is that going to be crooked? Sparkly you snoring, honey? Yeah. Huh. Okay. It does have a certain little... The way it wants to go. Okay. And these things are so tiny and kind of difficult to deal with, but. little suckers. Get a little uh, behind it. <laughs> there we go. Let's catch it now. Straight. It takes a minute for it to catch. Sorry, I was in, wasn't saying anything. I was in in the zone here. Okay. Here we have the oops. What did you do? There we go. Ugh. 
This one didn't go. There we go. Just don't want to lay flat for a second. It's on there though. And you're trying to make a purse out of a cigar box. So you got to expect some little hiccups. Okay, so it has to be up. Let me go over that. Why isn't it doing it? It should do it. It's all put on the correct way. Let's see. And it's sitting flush. It's on the edge. Come on. It's just because it's it's being wackadoodle. Alright, well I'll fix that later. Then we want to put these sides on. Here, stay there. Yep. That's what it is. I had them sitting out. There you go. So these little sides makes it fancy. It looks not there. Fancy up the bottom. And I got these on Amazon. I got all the hardware off of Amazon. Not too bad. They're just the same ones. Okay. Alright, so there are two on the top and the back, and then two on the this one, because this these two open, so you can't put this. You put it on to like if you would set it down or something and then it kind of seals the the back too all right and i find them with all my fingernails the tiniest little nails in the world I'm going to wake them up hammering. I know it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, so where's my opening? I want this back in the back. Yeah. And I'm going to hot glue it because I don't think I can hold it. And try to do everything I want to do. So I'm going to hot glue it first. So that I can get the nails. And then, where's my little... And I'm going to take these little guys. No, I don't want to use those. I need to use my needle nose because it's flat. So I'm going to put that on there. And I'm going to put a tiny, tiny piece... Glue so that I can hold it. Come on, glue um, in there. Sorry, Bella. And it'll hold the glue, and you can kind of pick off the glue a little bit. There. Next. There's two. No, there's three. Hi, sweetie. How's Bella doing? Ow, those hurt. Do not know it to self. Do not pinch finger. In. Good job. Okay. That's it. So yeah, a cute little corner. Okay, I'm gonna do the other corner. Same way. I'm gonna put a little dab, a little doobity dab right there. 
I can't hold it and try to figure out figure out how to hold it and do what I need to do. Cause it's these little little things are tiny. Needle nose is the best way. Grab it, put a tiny piece of little glue on there. Get your hammer. I did through there. Yeah. Oopsie. You're good. Well, guys, kind of weird. Okay, I'm gonna take him out. See? I didn't put enough glue on there. Hmm. Oh, I did miss one there. They're hard to see. Now that one's kind of too bored. I think I missed one there too. Yeah, I did. Well, they're so tiny that it was hard to see, so. Try this again. Blue off there. A little glue. Oh, why is this being weird? Oh yeah, like that's gonna come out. <laughs> no, it did. Oh, come on, why is that being there? I just can't hold it with my finger because I know I'm gonna whack my finger. This is just to keep it intact while I'm working on it, and it's uh, kind of being a problem. But it doesn't have to be perfect because it's a craft, it's a DIY, and it's supposed to look unique. And... All right, I'll try this again. And not that one, because I was on the floor. But I'll get that. Second, but I will get it. <clears throat> oh. Very tedious. I'm trying to use the glue so that it stays, but it's not cooperating. It just wants to... I guess the box ain't, like, square perfectly, and it's kind of giving me, giving me heck here. Come on, you can do it. All right. Let's see. 
Bam, got it. All it takes is a little patience. And we get it. Or maybe it's a lot of patience. <laughs> Come on, little guy. But I've been so excited to make make one and then I made that one and the video went choo -choo -choo. super fail. <clears throat> oh. Not gonna work. Sorry if you cannot see me. I'm just really trying to put this little guy in there. Nope, don't want to do it. Right. Put that one in. That one popped out. This is just a thinner box, so let me. It goes in, you know, easier, but, you know, not the... Which way do you want to pop out? Try the glue again. Ah, hmm. I don't know why you would want to go in there. No, well, I don't know why this doesn't want to go in there. It's trying to be difficult on me. I think this box is off center, or, you know what I mean? It's not square. I don't know why I said off center. That one wants to stay, so that's good. All right, and glue it again. Ha! That hurt. Bend the metal a little bit, try to get it to stay. if I can use these. Maybe it'll be grabbed a little better. Nope. Doesn't want to do it. Nope. I don't want to catch it. Nope, I guess those are too big, so I gotta go with the nails. Unfortunately. Maybe if it, I got it bent in there right, it'll try this side. Sorry if you cannot see me. I'm just trying to get this guy in there. Being difficult. I got the other ones in pretty good, but I don't know if it's 
this one is a softer box or what? Sorry, Bella. Okay, got it in. It's just this box is just isn't as square as that other one. That one, my the other one has wood, actual wood, and this one is all like that car, harder cardboard. Okay, this is looking way difficult than it was, but on the other one. So I wish I had it. I had that video because it went a little smoother. But just because you do something once, right, doesn't mean it's going to happen again. <laughs> That's the whole thing of DIY. But I'm okay with that because I like doing it. So I just wish it would go a little smoother for you. Or maybe we'll speed through this. Heck, I don't know. Yeah, see, that's coming apart. I feel, I feel like that's going to be a problem. I'm try to tap it on it. wants to go in straight. I apologize. If this isn't going as fast as I thought it would. Okay, so that one's a fail. Well, anywho, we got the front done. We got the latch done. We got to put these on. And we did the inside. So that is kind of where I was with this one. I got the sides, or this at the bottom, see the little bumpies things, and this is the sides. And then I left that there just for authenticity, did the front, this opens, and that's in there. And now I'm gonna put the handle on. Oops, fall over me. See, it should turn like that so you can get that lock. All right, so now I'm going to put the little latches on for the, the purse strap. Put them this way. Oh my gosh. I'm just going to open that back up. That on there. That goes through there. Another screw through there. Hold on. Okay. Where's my nubby? Oh, I have my screwdriver. My nubby. I had it last night. And I got these little things at Home Depot. I couldn't really find anything on Amazon that would work. And these are actually picture hangers, but they're gonna work for the strap, to hook the strap on. Oh, that didn't turn well. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's not come out right. The straps. The purse strap on. All right. Okay, get in there. I know I should pre-drill these, but like I said, Rocco is not a fan of the drill. So I'm just not going to scare him. There's no point. I 
I just want to get that little edge started in there. Think we're going now. Yep, we finally got it. Okay. Oh, I'm going to one more. You got your first strap holder and a little screw. Lift that up a little bit. It went through the cardboard, so that's okay. So I'm just going to lift that material up real quick. Put a tad bit of glue, hot glue on there, and then put this little nut on there. Ouch. And I lift up the material so you can't see it. And maybe I should put the glue on afterwards. There we go. And you see I'm putting on the little screw so that it's locked up. Then I'll put the glue over it. So that way it can glue over the material. And boom. I got the, I'm sorry Rocco, the little first left. So let me do the other one. I measured, you know, so I'd have what I wanted each side for this side to that side. So people at home use a drill because this is more difficult than you think, but I don't want to scare him, so you're okay. Hey, I just broke that. That was fine. Fix it, lady. What the heck? Huh. Well, I guess I'll have to re redo that. <laughs> Good night. Y'all see me do that. Cut. I might have got it started now. Maybe, maybe not. That's 
you gotta get it started and then it boom goes or it does that See, when somebody sells a purse like this, you don't get to see all the fun stuff that they go through to try to make it look so beautiful. Oh, maybe I can catch it. There we go. Rocco, I wish you weren't afraid of drills. I know. I'm going to take a minute. Come on, I just need you to catch. I think I just felt it catch. Sweet. Okay, good. It takes a lot to try to make a purse out of something, you know, box. There we go. Okay, so I got that. Oh, thank you. I'm going to go do the screw. So I'm going to pull this up. So I didn't glue it all the way down real good. I knew I had to put those screws in. And that way these don't come out. Probably should have put the hardware on before I did the inside of the box, but lesson learned. <laughs> it's been a difficult time tonight for some reason. It's hard to get that in there because of my, my nails. Let's start that catching that. Let me see. Okay, get in there. All right. I'm gonna put a little glue around there. Won't come out. And I'm going to glue this down. Thank you. 
Ow. Alright. Now I gotta fix this problem. I definitely took on a challenge. That really hurt. Ooh. Hot glue just like sticks to you and it don't come off. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna take this off because that just broke off. I guess I hammered it and oop, got more. But thank god I have another one. Oh, I dropped one again. My vacuum is going to be going. Oh, I got a mess all over the floor. Me too. These are the tiniest little screws. Okay, so I, whew, we did that. Okay. All right, so. I was fine before, now. Why won't you be fine now? That come out. That a, hopefully that isn't a different thing. These are all the same, I think, yeah. How could they be that different? I don't know why that's doing that. It's the same thing. But it's not going to close. I don't understand that. Okay, well, I'll have to fix that later. So, here's the handle I bought on Amazon. And this is a little ball that I buy for when I crochet hats and I put them in a beanie. I thought it looked cute on a purse. So, we we'll just hook these to here. yourself a cigar purse with the inside all done that's authentic and all this you could put a pocket in there whatever you wanted to um, I'm not sure why that doesn't want to close but it's the same as before but I'll fix it so it's just a matter of putting the hardware on these things but I think it turned out really, really cute. And I'll finish the other one off camera. But I think it turned out really good. It is not easy to make. It is definitely a DIY. So I will not put easy DIY. 
it's a definite challenge DIY, but it's fun to do. And if you get the hang of it after a few, you know, cause I'm getting the hang of certain things, what not to do, uh, before, you know, the steps, actual steps. So I messed up along the way and I wish I would have been able to show you step-by-step step with this one. Um, but my camera just decided not to work with me. So, um, this is the finished product, but I think it turned out really, really cute. And I hope you guys like this video and uh, give me a thumbs up because I work really hard on this. And, um, you know, I worked really hard on this one too. This one's cute. I really like this one too. because I really like this and the, you can just use the felt for the inside of the box and keep that authentic, or you could put a pocket up there, but whatever you want to do is fine. And then I'm going to put another set of these little thing of the bobs. I don't know what they're called. They are D ring hangers. I got these at Home Depot, but all the other purse hardware was done or it was bought on Amazon. And the cigar boxes I got at antique stores, different antique stores. Um, I'm going to tell you that I do prefer the wooden ones. This is a, the wooden sturdy one versus the whole cardboard. It's a little harder to get the screws in there, but I mean, it still turns out really cute. Um, and, uh, but I kind of prefer the little heavier one. Um, just, you know, that's just my preference, but it looks really cute. You can use whatever you want. Um, I like the stamps. I thought it looked cool with the Audrey Hepburn and the little, the little beanie thing, all fluffy and cute and the pearls I think it looks really cute and i bought this on amazon as well it's just called it you know it's a strap like a replacement strap or craft strap purse strap and um so anyway again if you like this video give me a thumbs up share me out if you will if you can i really appreciate it, it helps the channel um i hope you're you know liking what i'm doing i'm really trying hard for you guys to bring you things that are different um, right now it's, it's winter time. So there's not a whole lot to fix outside. Plus it's freezing and I've had some, you know, health issues and I had surgery. So, um, you know, we're going ahead and just doing crafts and this, like I said, this is, this is not an easy DIY, a fun DIY can be frustrating DIY, but it turns out really good if you can work on it here and there, or you can do, uh, you know, it all together too. It's just, it is, the hardware is the most work, I think. Um, it probably would have been better with my drill. But like I said, Rocco doesn't like the drill and I don't want to scare him. And I know you guys love seeing him. So they're just going to sit on my desk and I'm going to do it by hand. So if you, cause if, what if you don't have a drill and you just have a screwdriver, I can, I showed you that piece. So thanks again for watching. And I got, I will talk to you guys later because you never know what I'm going to do next. Bye. Say bye. Say bye, Rocco. Say bye, Bella. Say bye, guys. Bye, guys. Say bye. You look up here. Rocco. 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 Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.